Hi everyone, Dan from On One here. Today I want to show you another sneak peek of some of the great features that are coming in On One Photo Raw 2024. Today we're going to focus on the browser and I want to show you the new search bar. The search bar lives right up here at the top of the window. It replaces the advanced search dialog that used to pop up in a separate window. The great thing about this is you can minimize it to be a very small strip. You can even hide it so it goes away completely. But when you want to search, everything you need is right there at your fingertips. Let me walk you through it. The first section lets you control what you're actually searching. You can search specific catalog folders, all your catalog folders, even filter a specific folder of contents if you'd like to. I'm just gonna leave it set to search all known photos. It'll look on every photo it's ever seen. Then in the middle, I can choose the mode and I can actually use multiple modes at the same time. I'm gonna start off with the easiest one. I'm just gonna click on text and I'll just type in what I'm looking for. So when I click on text, it rolls down a little section. I can just type in what I want. Here's a tip, you can also do Control F or Command F on your keyboard and it'll pop you into this mode right off the bat. And now you can just type in whatever you're looking for. Let's say, oh, I'm looking for mammals. So I'll just type in mammals. And it'll go out and it'll search through all my photos and it'll return pictures of mammals. Well, how does it know they're mammals? Well, because I used keyword AI. Keyword AI went through and scanned all my photos and automatically extracted what were in them. So I was able to find all my mammal pictures, just like that. Uh, let's try another one, let's try uh, Christmas. I'll back this out and let's just type in Christmas. There you go. Again, it goes through and finds all my Christmas pictures just like that. Now I can combine multiple ways to search at the same time. So right now I've got a lot of results. I'm only looking for the best pictures within this folder. So watch, I'll just turn on attributes and now I can filter this view by my favorites or a star rating or a color rating, whichever way I happen to work. So I happen to use uh, stars. So I'm just gonna click on the five stars. And it's gonna filter down to just my five star photos that are Christmas photos. Let's say I'm only interested in the ones that I've done some editing work on. So where it says edits, I can pick what kinds of edits I've done. I'm just gonna pick any edits at all. And there you go. It narrowed it down to the one photo that I was looking for, that one Christmas photo that was a five star that I did some edits on. It's a very quick way to find just the photos you're looking for. There's some other cool things they can do too. Let me show you. I'm just gonna turn these two off and you'll notice there's a faces option. With faces, when you use keyword AI, it will find the faces within your photos and knows if they're male or female and it can guess on their age range as well. So let's say I'm looking for uh, pictures of one face of girls. And there you go. It automatically drilled down and found all the pictures of one single girl in a shot. And for you power users out there, there's also the full metadata search option. This gives you all the flexibility and power you had in the old advanced search dialog, but still right here at the top of your window. Turn on metadata and you can now add as many fields as you want and search those values in a very precise way. Let's say, oh gosh, what am I looking for? Let's say I'm looking for fall leaves, right? So I'm going to come up here and let's go to season and I happen to live in the Northern Hemisphere, so I'm gonna pick the Northern option, and I want pictures who were shot in the fall or autumn, and now I want just leaves. So over here, I'll click the plus button that lets me add another field to search, and here I'll say uh, keyword AI and leaves. And ta-da, look, it found all of my fall leaves photos for me automatically. And it filtered out all of the leaves that were green, all the ones that were from another time of the year because I use the autumn option rather than the spring or the summer option. Now, if this is something I wanna be able to get back to over and over again, I can save it as a search or even better, I can create what we call a smart album, which will appear right over here in the smart albums on the left-hand side. Just click on the smart albums button. This works if you're searching all of your catalog folders and just type in what you wanna call it. I'll call it fall leaves. And there you go, right over there in my smart albums. Anytime I wanna find those, I just click right on fall leaves. There you go. That's the new search bar right at the top of your window inside of Browse. Makes it easy to find the photo that you're looking for. It's just one of the many features coming in Photo Raw 2024, including things like improved performance, new user interface, and the brilliant brilliance AI for automatically making your photos look great in a single click. There you go, thanks for watching.